Are you guys ready? Are you guys in this page already? So this is a SPSS software for you to analyze your result. This is the first page that you will see when you log into this software. From the main window of IBM SPSS software, there are two windows for you to click around. Okay, variable views and data view. Click on variable view. Okay, this is the first page where you try to log in your information into the software. Go to name. If I'm doing a study on student satisfactions, this is my dependent variables. Will you recommend your friend to study here? But this kind of framework is not valid because only one factors affect your decision is not so valid so you must include a lot of factors still remember I ask you to include construct 1 construct 2 light lecturers teaching quality light facility okay all these construct will become more valid in your study if you have more construct then it will affect your recommendations agree still got more construct your study will become more valid in affecting your decisions right? okay so today i will use this as one example to key in the data here okay so under name variable view horizontally is your constructs you type your contract one contractor grade okay what else your question a section a what else you type in experience right okay you type down here so what i want you to see is measurements okay measurements can you click on the measurements when you type contractor grade can you click on your measurements there are three type of scale okay for your measurements contractor grade is a nominal scale agree okay for ordinal scale satisfied minor satisfied very dissatisfied that is ordinal scale so you will put ordinal scale okay you will put ordinal scale and for scale weight height age are all classified as scale so from here the measurements contractor grid is a nominal ordinal or scale nominal you just put nominal so after contractor grid what are the second variables you test in your question eh? just year of experience right like, okay can you see label here are for you to label it in your output output means when you analyze it come out output to show what is the variable name is under your label so you can continue to type your variables here define your variables here under variable view finish your setting up of variables go to your data view okay it converted to here so if you type 10 of them so your variable got 10 number one means your first respondent number two means your second respondent number three means your third respondent okay same thing happen if you type in in your excel isn't it right. so variable view is your setting up of your of your questions data view is your respondents answer until here okay okay if you are okay can you please close this go to the data sheets that i provide you in facebook just around here yeah. click at the variable view and see what i have typed in the data sheets the first variables i define it with your weight okay the second variable i define it expenses how much you spend okay the third variables i define gender and according to label you see a1 a2 a3 right a are my respondent profile agree 
look at section B. Okay. B1, B2, B3. Can you tell me what is the name of the construct for section B? You look at it very clear. Tuition fee, transport fee, rental fee. It's a fee. So all these three factors, B1, B2, B3 is fee. Agree? 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 Okay. Let's look at C. Construct number two. Construct number two. Basketball, football, library, reading, car park. Can you tell me C is which construct? Eh? Facilities. Agree? Can you tell me D? Lecturer for common module, MPU. Lecturer for measurement module, lecturer for management module, lecturer for financial module, lecturer for technical module. So this is a lecturer performance, right? E is your recommendations to your friend, whether you want to recommend your friend come to here to study or not. Okay, so this is your dependent variables. Okay, so recommendations is affected by B, C and D. Agree? So, from here, okay, you can define the value. Under value, can you click on the value? Okay, click on the value here. Click on the blue button here. Okay, follow my cursor. Follow my cursor. Click on the weight value. Click on the blue button here. So, what do you see? You see? Wait, right? Okay, can you follow to define a value so that you will know how to define a value later on? Can you put 6 value here? Put 6. Per put very heavy. Please click add. So, you define a new value. Now you got 6 of them. Can I proceed? Okay. So after you're done defining the value, you press OK. Then it will save it here. So you define all this. You yet to key in your questionnaire one by one, right? So go to it. These data sheets are defined according to what you said just now. Okay. Then you will see all here are empty. You will see all here are empty. Okay. This is your first questionnaire. You continue type. He answer number one, then you type one, two, three, four, and so on. Type. Okay. Can you scroll down and tell me how many respondents I collected? How many people answer my questionnaire? 51. Everyone agree? So, after you set up this, what you need to do is you do a analysis on this research framework right this framework. so how you going to run this framework okay i recommend two methods okay first method is run through construct just now fee how many how many items under fee three right how many items under facilities five right how many items under lecturer quality? Five, right? Three, five, five, right? So, my first recommendation is run them all in one without breaking up by item. Okay? So, what you have to do when you run by, by group, so, you got total 13 items. So, what you should do is I compute the mean for these three I name it under fee. I compute the mean, 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 average, huh? average. Average for this five, I name it under facilities. I compute the mean for this five, I name it under lecture quality. So let's do that. Go to transform. Go to compute variable. Are you guys here? First construct, which is fee, right? So you name it fees 111. Okay, so what you're going to do here is you 
compute, you take the fees, variables of fees. You click this first, follow instructions. Eh? Click this. Then it show this. Then you bring fees in. Fee is B, right? You click on B1. You click on this arrow. Okay. Then click plus. Okay. Then click B2. Then bring B2 in. Click plus. Then click B3. Bring B3 in. Is it already? Already, right? Then click at the last part of the bracket. Click here. Okay. Click divide. How many you should divide? Three, because you are doing mean, right? Divide by three variables. Okay, then click OK. Then scroll this bar, bottom bar, to the far end. Can you see this? Can you see this? Are you guys seeing fees one one one? Okay, can you do it the same? For facilities and lecturer quality, do the same thing for like facilities and lecturer quality. Okay, how you check whether yours is correctly typed or not? Look at your fees compared to my fees. Is it same or not? Three point six seven for the third one. Three point six seven for the third one. So after you compute your mean. You got a mean for B, you got a mean for C, and mean for D. Now, we are trying to do a regression analysis. 